So because there wasn't any way for us to get guys this offseason at bargain deals, it seems like maintaining cap flexibility was the Knicks' number one priority afterwards because we're only a few days into the free agency period and more than half the roster isn't even committed past 2021. All the new signees got basically one-year deals. Even though Austin Rivers got a three-year deal, I heard the last two years is not even guaranteed. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Like, damn, the Knicks are going once again, doing this whole one-year deal shit when players are always bitching about it. No one knows their role. No one knows if they're going to even be there the next season. So they come into the current season feeling a type of way. This shit has a long history of just not working out with the Knicks. So you're wondering why they're still going out of their way to do the same thing over and over. But best believe there's a lot of teams going out their way to make sure that they're freed up for 2021. We got even competing teams like the Miami Heat, the Dallas Mavericks. They, they have one max slot available right now as we speak even though they do have pieces around to compete right now. You can also look at the way the Toronto Raptors organized Fred Van Vliet's contract. They organized the years according to making sure that the summer 2021, they have more flexibility. So the first year of his contract, he makes 21 million. But then in the second year, where that summer of 2021 hits, his salary actually goes down just so they can have some extra money to spend that summer because they have the intention of going after a max guy. So the urgency around summer 2021 is important because teams right now are structuring their new deals with current players based on that free agency period. The only thing that sucks about this, we're going to see a lot of guys get let go. Bobby P, his option didn't get picked up. Damian Dotson, Maurice Harkless, Taj Gibson, Wayne Ellington. I mean, especially Damian Dotson. I hate to see guys like that go.